Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. In this video, I will explain what the electric field strength is all about. So let's have a little charge Q. And we realize that it's experiencing electric forces as it travels from, uh, from position to position in this region of space here. So you know, it, it takes two charges to have an electric force. So little Q cannot be the only charges here. There must be other charges nearby. Um, maybe these two, all right, these two um, big Qs here. So uh, we can think of the two big Qs as producing an uh, electric force on the little Q, or we can think of the two big Qs uh, producing an uh, electric field uh, in this region of space. So uh, the electric field is represented by this pur purplish color here. And so because little Q is sitting in the electric field, it experiences an uh, electric force. And because the field strength varies from position to position, the force experienced by a little Q also changes from position to position. The easiest way to understand electric field strength is to remember it as the electric force per unit charge. It's usually represented by the symbol E, and it has the unit um, newtons per coulombs. And because force is a vector, so force per unit charge is also a vector. So electric field strength is also a vector. Conceptually, uh, we can test the electric field strength at any position using a test charge. So for example, uh, if we place a positive 3.0 picocoulombs uh, test charge here, and we realize that it experiences an uh, electric force, 6 piconewtons in this direction. Now what does that mean? It means that the electric field strength here is 6 piconewtons divided by 3 picocoulombs, 2.0 newtons per coulomb, and is directed in this direction. Now let's do everything in reverse. So let's say somebody has already told us that at this position, the electric field strength is 2.0 newtons per coulomb. Uh, if we bring a test charge and place it there, positive 3.0 picocoulombs, then what happens? Well, this test charge is going to experience an electric force of 6 piconewtons. You just have to look at the units of Q and E and then you, you know what to do with the numbers. Okay, what if we place a negative 3.0 picocoulombs test charge here? Now, um, this test charge is still going to experience a force of 6.0 piconewtons, but it's going to experience it in the opposite direction. Well, just two things to remember. Number one, field strength is force per unit charge. And two, by convention, the direction of the electric field is always defined for what is felt by positive test charges. So negative test charges will always feel the same force per unit charge, but in the opposite direction. This is XM Physics, and I try my best to explain everything simply and clearly. If you like my work, uh, please check out xmphysics.com for more resources for studying physics. Ta-ta!